Okay, hopefully you can all see my screen. So for your information, uh, the Birmingham MBA program suite, we have a variety of different programs across our entire um, suite of MBA options. We offer full-time, part-time, online and short courses. For our full-time MBA program, we offer an MBA in international business, which is our general MBA course. Um, and that is a 12 month program, which is full-time. We also offer a general MBA program delivered on a part-time basis, which is our executive MBA, which is delivered in the UK. We also teach the same executive MBA program on a part-time basis in Singapore. And for those students who are interested in taking advantage of the UK-based apprenticeship levy, uh, the scheme, which is run by the um, by the government, we offer the postgraduate diploma in business administration, which can latterly be topped up to an MBA. We offer an online MBA at the University of Birmingham and also a specialised online MBA in clinical leadership. And we've recently launched a short course MBA, which is called MBA Essentials, which is where students can study one module from our executive MBA um, as they go along. So in terms of how the MBA is delivered, we offer a variety of delivery um, methods for um, the Birmingham MBA. The full-time option is delivered every weekday, and that is in person on the Birmingham campus. Um, so you would need to be able to dedicate 12 months um, to coming to the UK and studying in person in Birmingham. For our executive MBA, which is taught in Birmingham, and our postgraduate diploma in business administration. This particular program is delivered over long weekends, which is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday per module. And that is also in person on the Birmingham campus. For our executive MBA based in Singapore, this program is delivered in Singapore in person of over five weekends and one over five evenings and one weekend per module. And for our online MBA, it is a fully online program. So it's not face to face. It doesn't have any face to face element. It's taught eight weeks per module. And for our recently launched MBA essentials, Friday to Monday per short course, which is also in person. For the modules themselves, we offer core modules across our MBA, um, which broadly cover the same topics. So accounting and finance, marketing, strategy, responsible business, operations, organizational behavior and international business. And these are all um, common themes within, um, within businesses and organizations. Um, and these modules are broadly covering um, all of our MBA pathways. But you can tailor your MBA beyond these core modules with electives that cover a broad range of subjects. Now, depending upon which pathway you're interested in, um, these electives may differ. So I would encourage you to check our website just to see what electives are on offer. So what is it about the Birmingham MBA that makes us distinctive? Well, in terms of our rankings, we are ranked at 98 in the Which MBA 2022 uh, ranking for the full-time MBA. So we are a top 100 MBA program. We're in the top 50 in Europe in the QS Global MBA rankings 2023. And we are the first online MBA in the world with triple accreditation. So in reference to the triple accreditation, we are a handful of business schools around the world to hold the prestigious triple crown, which is the Amber, Equus and AACSB accreditations, which speaks to the academic rigor and quality of our MBA programme and those programmes taught within our business school. The MBA is delivered and taught in the Allen Walters building, which you can see in the top right hand of the screen there. Uh, and it has its own exclusive MBA study floor where our MBA students can um, study and socialize together. So it's a great opportunity for networking as well. 
We offer international experience modules on our full-time MBA programme. So these are the international business experience and doing business in Mexico modules, which gives students the opportunity to study in Hungary, for example, or Mexico to understand how business actually takes place overseas and how culture can impact business. We also offer the flexibility to undertake up to three elective modules from other pathways in the MBA suite. So this gives you the opportunity to undertake modules from pathways that perhaps aren't available um, uh, on your particular um, on your particular course. And it also gives you the opportunity to widen your MBA network with by meeting other students and working with them. In terms of the BBS Career Support, Deloitte Consultancy Challenge and End of Study Internships for full-time students, my colleague Melanie will touch upon those points later. So the Birmingham MBA programme is taught in the Birmingham Business School, which is part of the University of Birmingham. We are a ranked a top 100 university. So we're 91st in the QS World University Rankings 2023 currently. Uh, we have an excellent international reputation. We're a world-renowned university and member of the Russell Group, which is equivalent to the Ivy League in the US. Um, and you may notice that we um, the uh, that Birmingham was actually host to the uh, 2022 Commonwealth Games, and the University of Birmingham was a partner of those games, and we hosted sporting events on campus. So we had a great opportunity to, to showcase our beautiful campus to a global audience. So you may have already seen us. In terms of our heritage, we're over 100 years old. And we have over 35,000 students from more than 150 different countries studying with us. So we are an incredibly vibrant, diverse campus. And that speaks to as well where we are located in um, the UK. We're based in the UK's second city, which is Birmingham. Uh, we're less than two hours from London and home to the largest financial services and creative sectors outside the capital. So it's a really great, diverse, multicultural place to live and to study. So back to the uh, MBA in terms of our entry criteria, we require our applicants to have a good honours degree or equivalent professional qualification. So this is usually a 2-1 or equivalent. We ask our applicants to evidence three to five years work experience, including managerial responsibility. But we also consider candidates without a degree, but with 10 years work experience, including significant managerial responsibility for certain pathways. Our English language requirements do vary. So depending upon the pathway that you're interested in, I would encourage you to check our website for more information on that particular area. Now we recognize that the MBA is obviously um, uh, an investment in your future career. So with that in mind, the Birmingham Business School offers a variety of scholarships um, to help support your MBA journey. And these are available to our on-campus students um, with um, an application form for assessment. So for example, for our full-time MBA, we offer UK home scholarships, rest of the world scholarships, which are both partial scholarships up to 50% of the tuition fee. We offer an African MBA scholarship and an Indian MBA scholarship, both of which are full fees, but there is only one scholarship for each of these areas. So it's very competitive. So there is an application process for all of these. For our executive MBA, we offer scholarships as well, which are partial. So what I would recommend if you want to know more information about these scholarships is get in touch with us directly. And there is our email address and we'll post it in the chat later as well. So you can see that for reference. So that's all from me. Um, I've put the Birmingham MBA website there for your information, some details for applicants as well, and our email address, all of which I can post in the chat in a moment. But I'm going to stop sharing my screen now and let Melanie deliver her slides. Thank you. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Can you see my screen okay, Victoria? Yes. Lovely, thank you. Uh, thank you for that introduction. Um, I'm 
Melanie Billingham. I'm the careers consultant at Birmingham Business School and I look after the MBA students uh, from a careers point of view. I'm just briefly going to cover some of the, the main services and activities that you could get involved in if you join us on our MBA programme. So, um, as you would expect, we offer a full range of career services. Um, you've probably seen a lot of information about the kind of things that your career service might offer, but just to go through some of these, I'm not going to go through all of them in detail, um, but certainly I'll cover some of them today. The kind of help that you could expect to receive would be help with your job search strategies, um, career workshops, webinars, reviews of your CV um, and LinkedIn, very popular at the moment. We would help you with gaining some industry and sector insights, quite often using our contacts through alumni and employer contacts. We'd help you with your job applications um, and every stage of the interview process really. So right from your job search strategy to interview support as well. Um, for those of you that are looking at full-time MBAs, we have an end of study internship programme and I'll talk a little bit about that later. Um, for everyone, whether you're looking at the full-time, part-time or online, uh, we have a lot of online career resources that you can access um, and a lot of networking opportunities as well. So I'm going to start with some of the online provision because no matter whether you're applying for the full-time MBA, the online MBA or one of our exec options, these will all be open to you. And I've just given some examples of the kind of career resources that you would be able to access as a Birmingham student. Um, so most of these are not accessible on the public website. So the, the uh, university has to subscribe to them to give you access. And some of these would be things like um, platforms that offer you access to virtual careers fairs, um, to online CV checkers, to employer directories and country guides. Um, we can do video interview practice. That's such a popular one at the moment because so many employers moved to virtual recruitment during COVID and a lot haven't gone back since then. So we uh, subscribe to an online video practice platform. We can give you access to leadership development programs that are available globally um, and also some sector specific resources as well. Consulting is a, is a big area that a lot of our MBAs are interested in. So we subscribe to Case Coach, which is a platform that enables you to practice all kinds of case study interviews um, if you were looking to apply for that kind of role. Across the university, we offer all our students um, access to LinkedIn Learning. Uh, which is a great resource. You have that as a student and for up to two years after graduating as well. Um, in the public domain, you pay for that on a monthly basis. It's not cheap. So it's a great resource to have and it offers access to all kinds of professional and personal development learning. So they're just some examples of, of what you could expect. In terms of activities, um, obviously during COVID, we, we went very virtual with our career service and a lot of that we've retained over the last few years as well. So all of our career appointments are available via Zoom. Uh, we do virtual coffee and chats where you can meet alumni and chat on an informal basis about their roles, their sectors, their jobs, how they got into it. We offer industry insights and skill development workshops, uh, for example, careers in consulting, we also do careers in finance, careers in marketing, all the big areas that you would expect to see um, and online networking events as well. So everything that we do, most things that we do in person, we also replicate. For, um, some of these move slightly outside of the careers arena, but linked to it. So if you're an overseas student and you're looking to work in the UK after your studies, then we'll arrange visa talks so that you know what you need to do and when. Just to show you some examples of these. Um, a lot of these you'll see on LinkedIn. If you go through my LinkedIn profile, you, you'll see uh, a lot of comments on events and activities that we've held recently. So sometimes these involve alumni. Uh, as you can see, uh, we've named some of the alumni, the consulting one at the top, uh, at the top. and then we had a virtual networking event. Uh, at Christmas, that's some of the alumni shown there in the circles. 
we hold events with external partners as well. So on the bottom right, you'll see we had a speaker from Hayes Global Link Asia, who was talking about MBA opportunities in Asia. Uh, the small one in the middle with just the, the black background and the faces on the screen, that was actually from last week. Uh, so we had four alumni come in and talk to our, our current MBA students virtually about their roles. And we had speakers from um, a couple of the big four consultants, so PwC and Deloitte, but also some quite niche um, areas as well. So sustainability, um, we had someone who'd set up their own um, business, which was promoting uh, funding for MBAs throughout Africa. So there's there's all kinds of things that you can join in with. Okay, moving to the in-person. Now, this is mainly for those that are interested in full-time, but having said that, if you're an exec and you're in the UK, these are also options. And even if you're a distance learner and, and you're in the UK, you can still come onto campus and see us. So career appointments, again, can be done on campus. Um, all the appointments that, that I have are offered um, flexibly. So you can choose whether you want to come into campus or you would like a Zoom appointment. We have regular round table events with business leaders, normally arranged through our alumni office who'll get some senior speakers in. And if it's an area of interest to you, then we'll just do small conversational round tables with them. Larger events might be industry insights um, where we have employer presentations. I also mentioned earlier the end of study internships. This is for our full-time MBAs, and this offers an opportunity for you to gain some short-term work experience in the UK at the end of your study, so usually a three-month placement. We started this um, two or three years ago. It's proved very popular. Um, hopefully, we'll be continuing, continuing it and extending it over the next few years. Our team also runs one of the full-time academic modules. It's called Developing Leadership Practice, which one of my colleagues runs. That, at the moment, is in conjunction with um, what we work with called Kagool, who set a real-life business problem. And in groups, you work to uh, resolve that problem, come up with recommendations, and present them back to the company at the end of the week. If you're looking at our distance learning, course um, you might be interested to know that just before Christmas we held our first ever on-campus uh, networking event for distance learners uh, where we coincided it with the graduation ceremony so all the distance learners that had just graduated uh, stayed on for a couple of days um, a Friday and a Saturday in the UK and we held a number of speakers a number of events a number of development activities and um, just it was a lovely opportunity for them to spend some time on campus and also to meet um, the other distance learners that perhaps they've been studying with virtually for the last couple of years, but may not have met in person. And again, we're hoping to continue that over the next few years as well. And that's just some examples of the face-to-face -face ones. So you, you can see some of our, our MBA activities there, uh, skills workshops, we had a visit to Jaguar Land Rover, uh, Christmas events, round table events, um, and that was the one on the top left is Sandy, who was running the Developing Leadership Practice module. So um, there's lots of opportunities to get involved. Victoria mentioned the Deloitte Consultancy Challenge, and this is something that's, that's mentioned a lot to us as a, as a point of interest when people apply. Uh, there is a video you can watch. I've just popped the, the link to that on the screen. But essentially, um, we allow a limited number of MBAs. You have to apply for it because it's so popular to attend the Deloitte Consultancy Challenge every year. It's run by senior Deloitte staff who provide training input, um, advice, guidance, consultancy help, and ask you to basically complete a case study scenario throughout the week, um, which you present back to a, a, a fictional board at the end of the week. But it's a fantastic opportunity to gain some real insights from some senior people um, at the great organization. So that's always very popular. And that is actually going to take place in April this year. So we are just starting to plan for that again. If you want any more information about the careers team, uh, you can have a look at our website, which I've popped up there. But I, I can see there are a couple of questions. I, I can't see what the questions actually are because my slides are up. But just in case you're wondering what people go on to do, because that's what mainly people want to know. Um, here's some example destinations. Now, 
if you look down that list, you're going to see some names that you know there. You'll see Deloitte, you'll see Accenture, you'll see Goldman Sachs, uh, you'll see Google. So those are all the kind of names that you're thinking, oh yeah, great, big brand names. But you're also going to see some names that before, uh, Tyson Foods, Kugul, uh, Colmore, just looking down this, the crocodile. Um, and I think it's fair to say that our MBAs do end up in a wide variety of careers. Um, just to show you how that actually plays out in practice. Um, so just more than half of our MBAs will go into three main areas, which is tech, finance and consulting. I don't think that's probably unexpected. Any of you that are looking at MBA careers and career destinations will say, yeah, that, that, that looks reasonable. But we also have a fairly good mix of other industries as well, self-employed, automotive, energy, manufacturing, pharma. Um, there is a mix. We're not the kind of MBA that leads you into just one career path. People come in from a variety of backgrounds and they also go out into a variety of backgrounds as well. In terms of geographies, um, most of our students either go back to or end up in Asia, but we also have a very high percentage still staying in the UK and Europe and a smaller split between the other countries that you can see there. Oh, almost gave the game away there. So um, in terms of famous alumni, um, we do have some. Um, we actually have uh, a president, uh, president of a country who is uh, a UOB alumni. And just going to, if anyone wants to have a guess, please put it in the chat box because I'd, I'd love to see who you think we might, might have a president of. Does anyone want to have a guess where we have a president? I'm looking at the chat, just seeing if anything's coming up. I know the answer, so I, I'd be oh, cheating. You're not allowed to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to say in case they get it wrong, don't worry. Okay, so um, we have uh, the president of Zambia is actually a, a UOB. Oh, Canada, thank you. Somebody did guess. No, it's not the president of Canada, but, but thank you so much for guessing. Uh, the president of Zambia is a UOB alumnus. Okay. Um, before I finish, I'd just like to put forward a few things for you to think about before you apply for an MBA. And this isn't to sway your decision, it's just things that um, really you ought to be thinking about. So if you're looking at the UK, the universities are not all the same, and there are some things you should bear in mind. So are you looking for a university that's city-based or campus-based? What's your preference? Do you like to be in the middle of a city? Um, or actually, do you want a little bit more space um, and you know, to be more based within a, a university campus style? Do you want to be part of a large cohort or a small cohort? What's your preference in terms of the reputation of the university? Is it a well-established traditional university or are you looking at a newer university? Also, MBA programmes are not all the same. And you really need to be looking at what's the curriculum of MBAs to see whether the content is something that interests you. Is it specialist or generalist? Is it practical or theoretical? And is it well established or, or is it new? And I'm not putting these forward to say any are, are better or worse. They're, they're just different and each will have its own advantages and disadvantages. And then finally, you as MBA candidates are not all the same. You're all unique in terms of the background and the skills and the experience that you will bring to any MBA programme. And what that means is, even though I can tell you what previous people have gone on to do and previous people who've become presidents of Zambia, that doesn't mean that you will do the same. So any university that shows you stats about where people go, don't automatically assume that that's where you will go because you are unique in terms of your skills, your experience and your background. And when you're deciding where to apply, have a look at all the elements that are really important to you and find the one that's the best match for you. Because if you're happy on your MBA, you're going to perform better, you're going to get better results and, and you'll get out of it what you want to get out of it. Okay, that's all I need to say. Um, I'm just going to finish with this screen, which is if you want to find out some more, there's a few ways you can do that, um, either on campus at the next open day, or you can book a campus tour via the website. Um, 
or just using other means to talk to us, live chat. Um, I've put the link up to the MBA programme again. And actually, Victoria, would you mind putting up your email address for questions? 